I will be showing you how you can acclimate your Monstera to be pretty much in full sun uh, in a few easy steps. One thing about plants is that it takes time for acclimation. This might take maybe a few months, up to a year, but the results are worth it, especially when it comes to Monstera. Here is one that was a clipping from one of the already acclimated ones, and you can see that in a few months it throws out quite a bit of uh, foliage and foliage with holes, fenestrations. Part of the mess, but you can definitely see that um, in a few months you can have very, very uh, good fenestrations and uh, some leaves, and obviously quite a bit of growth. Once again, don't mind the mess, but you can see this one's also the same age as these, but in a little bit larger pot, uh, and you can see. Sorry for the mess. It's in full sun right here. This is, you see the dead grass and see full sun. It looks a little sad because there is no sun today. Monsteras actually get that cool look, right? From not wanting too much sun, right? They'll actually make holes in their foliage so they don't capture as much sun. So that's what we want. We want to have that in, in our houses. What you can do is you can also mimic that, right? So what you're going to do, depending on where you are, uh, they're very sensitive to cold. So you might not want to do this during the cold months. You can do it during the, the summer, spring. I think right now is the best time to do it, right? Your indoor Monstera, put it outside in the shade, completely shade. Shouldn't be hit by direct sunlight whatsoever at all. Let it live like that. Let it acclimate for uh, a month, a few weeks the watering schedule will 100% change, especially if it's more humid outside, if it's uh, drier outside, hotter outside, etc. right? Especially when you're entering the summer months. So we wanna do it on spring. So maybe around summer, fall, you have very nice foliage that you can bring indoors and last throughout the winter. And then you have the steps all over again. You can also do this indoors theoretically if you have a window that gets absolutely blasted with direct sunlight right um what you do want to avoid is direct sunlight especially when you're starting out men are used to it they get blasted with some sunlight throughout the day um 100 degree weather so just slowly right put it in the shade let it acclimate water it then start moving it towards where it would get partial sunlight during the afternoon, the coolest time, right? And see what it's actually doing, right? You'll see that there will be growth because of the increased amount of sunlight. And you progressively will condition them to have two, maybe three hours of afternoon sun. Um, Semi-regularly filtered. It's even better if you have some type of canopy or something like that. Even better. I'm doing this one in my front yard, so it actually gets blessed with maybe five hours, five to eight hours of full blast sun. I couldn't tell you where the last leaf is, but you can see that they're not as holy as the ones outside. But the mother plant, right, is right here. And this was, uh, this one seems to be the biggest leaf, but you can see that full sun, right? You have one, two, three, four, five leaves, right? And you can see the, the pure size and the multiple rows of fenestration. This method works really well, uh, it just takes patience and time. 